Hello everyone, now this is a further extension of the barometer. We are now going to explore problem solving using barometer. Now from this diagram, uh, what we have here is an inverted tube and the barometer and the height of the barometer is measured when a 1 meter rule is placed beside it. So first question, what is the atmospheric pressure in mmHg? Now be careful, a lot of students, because they have learned that this is where the pressure acts, Sorry, may not be clear. A lot of students learn that because this is where the pressure acts, they either take this value or this value. So it's 120 or 875, and it's wrong. That is wrong. Go back to the first principles. This is where the atmospheric pressure is acting. And earlier on, in the earlier video, I did mention that this mercury column exerts a pressure at this cross-sectional area as highlighted by the one by my marking in orange. This cross-sectional area, uh, sorry, the whole weight of the mercury column presses onto this uh, cross-sectional area. Now this pressure in this whole column must be equal to the atmospheric pressure. And the height of this mercury column is actually eight seven five mmHg minus sorry i cannot say 875 the height is actually equals to 875 mm minus 120 mm that will give me 755 mm therefore the atmospheric pressure is 755 mmHg. That's your answer. Now state the pressure in mmHg at the following points A, just above the mercury meniscus. Now you look carefully, A is actually in vacuum. So, the pressure in vacuum is 0 mmHg. B. At point B, at the 600 mm mark. Point B is your 600 mm mark, and that's here. Now, the 600 mm mark, at the 600 mm mark, the weight of the mercury column is pressing down. This whole column, the weight, is actually pressing now at point B. This whole column, as I highlighted in pink. So this whole column, the height difference is actually, the height difference is actually 875 mm minus 600 mm, which is equals to 275 mm. Therefore, the pressure equals 275 mmHg. It's just that column pressing on B. So you see what I'm doing here? You realize that uh, when we talk about pressure, we, we take the column above the point. Right? Uh, it's common 
misconception by students. Okay, I wouldn't say misconception. I would say it's carelessness without thinking thoroughly. Okay, when you don't think thoroughly, it's a natural human instinct to read from a smaller number upward. So students will give the answer 600 minus 120 instead, which is wrong. So you go back to the first principle. It is the column due to gravity pressing down on B. And that's why we take 875 minus 600. Part C. At the level of mercury reservoir, at the level of mercury reservoir, uh, highlighted in orange, that is the atmospheric pressure. And it will be 755 mmHg. How about at the bottom of the reservoir? Now, when it's at the bottom of the reservoir, we are talking about the entire height of the mercury column at point D along here. So, the height equals 875 mm minus 0. That will give me 875 mm. And the pressure equals 875 mm hg. And the last question. What changes would... What changes, if any, would there be in a mercury level of the barometer if the tube is tilted slightly? Now note, above here is still a vacuum. Right, if the tube is tilted slightly, vertical height of mercury there are two scenarios now there are two scenarios okay you learn in the earlier calculation that the pressure equals 755 mmhg so that means your vertical height must be 755 mm okay your vertical height must be 755 mm If tube is tilted slightly, but H remains at seven five five mm, sorry, remains greater than seven five five mm. Okay, H remains greater than 75 mm. The vertical height remains at 755 mm. However, if the tube is tilted but H becomes smaller then 755 mm there will be no space observed above mercury column so the space will just disappear So what if some air is introduced into the space at the top? Okay, what if some air is introduced at the space at the top? All right. So what happens is B when two is tilted, but 
vertical height is now less than 755 mm air bubble will remain at the top of the barometer Okay, I have a better word, it shouldn't say will remain, will be observed at the top of the barometer.